um, as well as your officials, uh, the boats, and then we will have eight lifeguards on paddleboards or kayaks peppered throughout the course. Okay. Um, all of the lifeguarding staff that we have on will be American Red Cross certified. Uh, we've ensured that. Um, we will have that immediate response time for you guys. If something does happen, all of our lifeguards will not only have whistles, but we'll have walkie-talkies to fire to the two people on jet skis and to Courtney as our race director. So our response time will be fairly quick. We will extract you even quicker on, again, as I said, that south boat ramp that you guys all utilized to get into the water yesterday and today. Okay. Um, our AEDs will be on the fire boat, and we have a fire department that is about two and a half, three minutes away. Um, so if anything should happen, knock on wood, they will also bring that stuff down as well. Um, we're going to talk about response times. Tepe St. Luke's is the closest hospital to us. It is about four, three to four miles away, um, should anything arise again. Tepe Fire will be the first one to respond. If anything needs to be taken, it will be Tepe St. Luke's. It's on Mill Avenue, for those that are familiar, if not. Um, Mill Avenue, about three and a half, four miles away. Um, shade and beverages. Shade, there's not going to be a whole lot of that this weekend, guys, other than the permanent structures that you will see along the south end of the river, uh, any trees or buildings that you can hide behind. Please take care of yourselves this weekend. For those that are coming in from out of town, Yes, it is a dry heat, but that sun will be on you constantly. I looked around today, you guys have some pretty gnarly goggle tans as it is, but please protect yourself out there this weekend. Um, communicating with our safety personnel, if you guys are experiencing any issues, please verbalize that with our lifeguard staff, with the safety personnel, the jet skis, with fire. Um, what's that? Please go straight arm up. Straight arm up. If you need our attention, wave at us and we will come to you. Um, but please don't come in contact with any of our vessels, right? As a pretty strict competition, uh, you guys have to be self-supported the entire race. If you guys do need help, swallow your pride, raise your hand, and let us help you out. Understood? Don't be dumb. If you guys want to race again, you're going to need our help if you need it. Um, and then safety craft again, two jet skis, one fire boat, one PD, uh, four officials that can act as... Um, extra our extra craft on the water, uh, things like that. Are there any questions for me at this time? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, you mentioned the lack of shade. What about beverages? You cover that. Will there be water available? There will be water available, yes. Will be water. Yes, sir. Do you guys know if they're impeding the line of the storm to get out of the way? Because yes. they're swimming straight at you and you need to move? Yep. Okay. We understand that. We try, um, our, our guards all try to stay in the middle. They will be in the and middle. And mind you, most of these guards have all worked uh, Ironman. He's been director, assistant director right? yeah. of Ironman. So most of these guys are pretty proficient at open water uh, type stuff. Same with fire departments. Fire departments work open water events, especially Ironman here. We do a lot of Ironman events here. Um, so it's not their first rate as far as open water stuff. But yeah, they're, they're all pretty familiar. Most of these guards have all been with us for three years now. So. Any other questions? Great. Um, I'm sure everybody here has read uh, all the selection procedures that we have posted on the USA Swimming website. So my job here is to summarize uh, the following selections. Um, and these are the uh, events that are being selected off of tomorrow's event. Uh, for the 10K, top two athletes will automatically qualify for the Pan Pacific Championships. Um, from there, we'll also take top six athletes, so the national team will go to French Nationals, and then at French Nationals, we'll take an additional two athletes to the Pan Pacific Championships. For World Juniors, the top two 18, 19-year-olds, and that's age as of December 31st, so the top two 18, 19-year-olds will qualify for World Juniors. Um, and then the rest of World Juniors are selected off a 5K Junior event, a 7.5K Junior event. Um, athletes named to the World Junior Team will qualify for the National Junior Team, provided that they are 18 and under on September 1st of this year. Um, if we need to go and fill up any of the additional roster spots on the national junior team, we will use results from the 10K tomorrow. Any questions? Thank you. Any more questions? Changing area. I'm sorry, what? Changing area. We have three changing tents that are out there. Thanks.
There goes, did you see those the little orange? Awesome. I know people are complaining. Yes, we're not putting the Marriott out there. They're just for changing. They're not for anything else. Okay. If um, any other questions? <laughs> All right. If you would like to get your tattoos on um, today, we will. Um, they're out there.